On today's boiler tip, we're going to talk about troubleshooting a thermostatic trap. Now this particular model thermostatic trap modulates, which can make it kind of difficult to troubleshoot because we don't get audible cues like we would on a thermodynamic trap. And also it doesn't have a steam water interface inside like we might have on a float trap. And sound wise, it makes a pretty steady continuous sound. So even with ultrasonic tester, it can be kind of tricky. So one way that we can tr troubleshoot this is with temperature on the inlet. Because we know the thermostatic traps subcool or force the condensate to cool below the condensation temperature of the steam, we should see a lower temperature on the body of the trap than we see shortly upstream where we've got steam. So we can do a comparison here. I've got about 220 degrees on the body of the trap. And if I just go a few inches upstream, um, I've got 240 degrees. So what I'm seeing is I'm getting about 20 degrees of subcooling in that trap, which is not backing condensate up any significant distance, um, but also is not allowing a great deal of flash steam to escape. So this trap is working.